Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to work out geometric mean. So you're probably familiar with the term mean being summing the values together, adding all the values up and dividing by however many values that you have. And if you ever see mean written down mathematically, that is what that means. But the proper name for that is the arithmetic mean. So if you see mean, that just means arithmetic mean. So just adding the values together and dividing by the number of values. There is another type of mean that we could work out, which is the geometric mean. Let's just take a look at the formula to work out the geometric mean. It's presented in two ways here. We're going to have a look at the right hand one first and see what that tells us to do. Well, here where we've got a1, a2, a3, that's just representing multiplying the values together. So multiply the values together up until the nth value. So the final value that you have in your data set and then take the nth root of that product, the result of multiplying your values together. So if, for example, if you had three numbers in your data set, then you would take the cube root of the product of those numbers. And that's what that's saying there. And this is exactly the same on the left hand side. It just looks a little bit more intimidating. Let's just have a look at what these things are. This tall Greek letter that we have here, this is actually an uppercase pi. We're very used to the, seeing the lowercase pi. Uh, with any work that we might do with circles, but this is actually the uppercase pi, which refers to product. So product being the result of when you multiply values together. So what this is really saying is it's the product of your values, so in this case your A values, from the first one up until the nth one, so that would be the last one, and then what we do is we raise that to the power of 1 over n, 1 over the number of values. So you might be familiar with raising values to one over a number, which would then be the root of that. So for example, if we did have uh, three values in our data set, we would say we'll raise that to the power of one over three, one third. That would be the same as taking the cube root of those values. So let's give this a go with this data set. We've got three values here, four, eight and 54. We're going to work out the geometric mean. Now, unfortunately, there's not a direct way to do this on the class with there isn't a geometric mean result like there is with the arithmetic mean uh, but we can simply input this into calculate mode uh, so we're going to start off with the root well we've got three values so it's the cube root of and then we need to multiply the values together so four times eight times 54. press equals and here's a geometric mean 12. so the geometric mean of those three values is 12. let's just have a go with another data set you can pause here if you want to have a go first before we go through it. So I'm going to use the second variation of the formula this time. So I'm going to open a set of brackets and I'm going to multiply together the values that we have. So 1.8 times 3.2 times 7.5 times 10.2. And I'm going to close the brackets and we'll raise that to the power where we have four values. So it's to the power of one over four, so to the power of a quarter. Press equals, and here we have our geometric mean. 4.582 to three decimal places. We could say that's 4.6 to one decimal place. Now I mentioned before that there wasn't a function as such to work this out on the class whiz. On some models of class whiz, such as the Japanese and the German edition, there is a product feature, it is an alpha feature. If you know the equation of a function and wanted to work out the product of the values up to the nth term of that, you can use this feature, but you do need to know the formula for the nth term essentially of your values for that one. So certainly useful potentially if you have a sequence where you know the nth term of the sequence, you could use that feature. Where do you use geometric mean? Well, typically the most common examples are trying to find averages when you're working perhaps in the financial sector, working with percentages and interest rates and inflation rates and those sort of thing. The tendency is to use the geometric mean rather than the arithmetic mean. It gives a little bit more meaningful results. Perhaps you know of another use for the geometric mean if you do know any other uses that are commonly used then please do comment below it'd be interesting to find out where else the geometric mean is used particularly rather than the arithmetic mean but that is it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time on the calculator guide